I, Eddard, the House Stork, sentence you to die. Ned Stark is known as the Lord of Winterfell, which is the northern section of the Seven Kingdoms. He's a loyal man, a very decisive man, especially loyal towards the king and, uh, and, and, and his family. Ned's wife, Catelyn, and their uh, children. Don't get into trouble. They have a very strong relationship. <laughs> and which one of you was a marksman at ten? So there are, you know, they're quite, uh, they're quite settled, but there's always a tension when Jon Snow is around because he's my bastard son. I love the boy, but I can't show him too much emotion in front of my wife because she feels very resentful. That's their way of life. And uh, all of a sudden it's changed by this request from the king. I need you, Ned. We were meant to rule together. The king is the only man I can trust. He's more like a brother than his own brothers were. You're too fat for your armor. Is that how you speak to your king? And I trust him, and that's why I decided to become his right-hand man. You're a loyal friend. The last one I've got. I know what I'm putting you through. Thank you for saying yes. It's quite heart-wrenching for Ned to leave his family. I have no choice. That's what men always say when all are goals. He loves his wife very dearly. Uh, he needs her. That's why he feels unsettled about leaving her behind. <laughs> Half of the family stay in Winterfell and half of the family go down to King's Landing. A very disturbing kind of world, a pit of snakes, really, where these very corrupt people are gaining more and more power, all with their own agenda. Grace, Robert's wife, Cersei, doesn't want him there. No, nobody wants him there. What are you doing here? I might ask the same of you. What is it you hope to accomplish? He's nosing around. He's trying to find things out, looking into their affairs and finding, you know, skeletons in the cupboard. Are you telling me the crown is three million in debt? I am telling you the crown is six million in debt. This is foolishness. He realises he's got to make some kind of ally to survive in this particular environment, so he does with little finger. Very powerful man. You're a funny man. He can't just be honest and honourable in this society. It just doesn't work. He'd rather die than lose his honour, his loyalty and his sense of duty.